a lot of the world, they're beholden to these old line financial institutions, you know, for sending or receiving money or a brick and mortar bank to get loans, etc. It's been pretty restrictive. There's been, you know, deposit minimums to open an account, a brokerage account, and it's really precluded, you know, the, the masses from participating in the financial markets. And so with technology and blockchain in particular, it's opened up the financial markets and afforded financial inclusion for people throughout the world. One of the big advantages to blockchain is you don't need a third party to interact with each other. So you want to transact, you can do that 24 seven without including somebody else. These settlements are almost instantaneous, especially relative to the past financial system where you're waiting for you know, T plus two or more days to actually settle transactions. With blockchain, all those, those restrictions kind of go away. Right now, there is about 560 million people in the world that own crypto. So it's about 7% of the global population. CoinZoom is a financial services platform that's designed to benefit consumers globally for sending and receiving both USD and crypto for free, spending those funds easily on the CoinZoom card, and then earning rewards by doing that. There's about 30 different coins that we support right now, and you can spend any of those in your wallet. You just go onto the app and select which coin you want to spend, and you go to you know any retailer or store and spend you know that crypto instantly. Zoomi is a really cool product that we started out with, and what it allows you to do is send dollars or crypto instantly for free inside of our ecosystem. Because if you know, we split a pizza and I want to send you 10 bucks, there are fees and stuff on these networks that still can be expensive. And so I can send that to you uh, for free and instantly you get it and, and there's really no cost. And when we combine that with crypto and other stuff, I can send you Dogecoin, you get the Dogecoin. You might say, well, you know, I, I, I appreciate the Doge, but I want something else. So you can then convert that to Bitcoin or Ethereum or, or dollars, whatever you prefer and then you can spend that on your card as you want to. And that's unique because a lot of people, you know, they own crypto, but say you own Bitcoin or Ethereum or Shiba coin, what do you do with it, you know? Well, with, with our wallet, you can just select uh, one of those coins and go to Starbucks and swipe your card and, and spend those coins right on your CoinZoom card. So we have really made it easy to send and receive these funds and especially to spend the funds. Our goal is really to uh, provide customers globally with complete control of their finances. You know, they, they can store, securely store, and then easily spend their, their fiat currencies or their cryptocurrencies on the CoinZoom card. And then they can get rewards, you know, as they spend as well. Particularly with Utah, there's a great talent pool for technology engineers. And also we have customers in over a hundred countries around the world and having a diverse you know client support group that has multiple language skills is helpful and that's all part of what utah brings we have some crypto enthusiasts some crypto novices and crypto experts did you guys have like a aha moment when you're like first introduced like oh this is different for me, the aha moment is now I can swipe a card and, uh, for example, a few years ago our Christmas tree lights went out on our artificial Christmas tree. We'd already spent, you know, the money we were or overspent what we were going to spend on Christmas and we're like, let's go use some crypto and buy a Christmas tree. So it's our crypto tree. <laughs> and <you> <laughs> uh, Yeah, and it's beautiful and it'll last forever. What do you guys feel like is the future adoption of crypto. This is just like anything. At first, the internet, people thought it was fraudulent, and then now, like, everyone does everything on the internet, right? And uh, Apple Pay, Google Pay, normal, right? Right. So I think within five to 10 years, it'll be completely normal, seamless, and this is the way. It's kind of like, how many transactions do you do with cash nowadays? It's like almost nothing, right? Um, it's just a more efficient way to transact, and it's optimal. And it actually, with the blockchain, it prevents a lot of fraud, actually, because a lot of these ledgers are public. 
And so hiding things is actually very hard to do, like with Bitcoin. Right. So I think mass adoption is inevitable. It's overwhelming to maybe some lay person like myself. And so it, it's taking that fear out of it. And if there's a little more regulation and you see everyday uses happening and more businesses accepting it and people can trust it and they don't feel like it's the wild west of, you know, ups and downs of money, I think that that's where it should go. That'd be amazing for people. It's fun to be able to have your money somewhere where, the, hey, listen, I want to be able to invest here. You can do it instantly with multiple coins or you can stay with the stable coins. When I tell that to my parents who are a little older or, you know, family members, it's a, listen, I mean, it's, it's crypto is just a lot better resource that would be foolish not to bring your money on the crypto world. So trust and safety has really been a uh, focus for the company and then along with uh, the regulatory compliance. Uh, and I think that's how we're winning, you know, larger businesses that are working with us that are using us for our bulk payouts. Everybody on our team, it's like, this isn't their first rodeo. Uh, they've been around for a long time. And I think because of experience and the talent that our engineers have, we make less mistakes. We get better product out faster. And our partners really appreciated that because when there's a change that needs to be made, we're really responsive to that. Our customers appreciate it. When we find issues, we fix them quickly. Just like everything else we've seen with the evolution of the internet, as things go into the digital world increasingly, we need digital money that's able to keep up with that. The devaluation that's happened in the dollar, for example, creates a lot of turmoil in the world. Having a hard money asset is going to be recognized increasingly, in my opinion. There's a finite amount of Bitcoin, so there's only gonna be 21 million Bitcoin ever minted. There's probably been 21 million US dollars minted this last few minutes. So as a, a wealth preservation tool for global you know, households and investors, it is getting adoption right now. And billions of dollars is now being invested in Bitcoin. It reminds me of a point in time with a blockbuster video. They had the opportunity to buy Netflix and they said, well, no one will ever buy, you know, their videos that way through a Netflix. That's dumb, you know, and then, you know, what's happened to Netflix, you know, they embraced technology and uh, Blockbuster didn't and Blockbuster has gone. This is really a watershed moment in our minds at CoinZoom with the blockchain opportunity, with the, the ease of sending and receiving funds globally instantly for free to really make finance something that everybody in the world can enjoy. This financial inclusion is a key part of what we want to bring through CoinZoom.